An Arkansas dance team making moves to nationals, but they also need help financially to get there. Care for us, Mitch McCoy, with how their coach is dedicated to changing their lives and unlocking their talents. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, good evening. They call themselves the 501 Crew. Tonight, they're preparing for a national competition in Orlando, Florida. While they strive to win on the dance floor, their coach already considers them winners in life itself. Some would consider dancing an art. It's an amazing feeling. Or music made visible. Dancing is like another part of us. Meet Slime. <laughs> An 18 year old that considers dancing. It's another part of me. His motivation for a better life. If I wouldn't be in this dancing stuff, I'd probably be out there on the street. Slime says this space is his safe haven, a room where his mind can lead the moves. I'd probably be out here fighting, killing, or doing something else. So I dance and keep me in my own little area. He and his group, known as the 501 Crew, jump, spin, and flip as fast as they can bring a smile into the room. Like a brotherhood. We're, like, we're real close. This is their place. Katie Lyons is the crew's coach. She's also the owner of Jacksonville Spotlight Dance Complex. She says this team is beating the odds. They all come from low income families. Um, they really don't do anything but go to school and come home. And for some of them, home isn't always home. Hours and hours practicing leading this group to nationals in Florida, but they need help financially to get the boys there. We have two weeks to get it together, you know, to try to find the funds. For the 501 crew. Most importantly, put God first, stay in school. They're dancing through life, looking in the mirror, confident in the men they're becoming. The group is organizing a send-off party this Saturday at 7 p.m. Everyone is welcome to attend. They also have a GoFundMe account set up to help with the cost of getting to Orlando. We have that linked up at krk.com.